Over 2 million passengers went through the TSA checkpoints in one day. Did they make mistakes? Yes. The first mistake is not having your ID and your ticket barcode ready for the TSA officer. A travel tip is to arrive at the airport with your identification and your ticket's barcode in your back pocket or an easily accessible place. Another travel tip is that not all airports do the same thing. You may not even have to give them your identification that day in that airport. So when I am in line about three to five people back in the security line, I watch to see what the officers want the passengers to do with their identification that day. <laughs> Remember that you will make mistakes. My travel tips are going to help you make fewer mistakes because you're confident about the rules and you are relaxed when you're getting screened. Another mistake that I have seen is that people keep on their belt, even in the pre-check security line. For some reason over the last year, they want every passenger to take off their belt. A travel tip is to not even arrive at the airport with your belt on. Just pack it in that outer pocket of your hard shell suitcase or your carry-on uh, bags. And then when, once you get through airport security, then you can put on your belt for the remainder of your trip. The third mistake is packing your liquids back at the bottom of that personal item bag, which means if you are having to search for your liquids bag in the line, you are going to be the one who slows down the other people who are ready for airport security when they walk up there. After security, you can pack it in the bottom of your personal item bag or move it to your carry-on suitcase. Also, do not keep your cell phone in your pocket. It needs to be stowed in one of your carry-on bags for screening. Another mistake I saw just yesterday in the pre-check line, the TSA officers made even the pre-check people take off their jacket for some reason. We do not know the security threat or the reason they're making us do that that day. We're just going to smile and do what they say or do what we see them telling people to do. That leads us to the sixth mistake in the TSA line and that is to not listen to the officers while you're standing in line getting ready. The TSA officers may change the rules from hour to hour for some reason. You're going to be observant. You're watching and you're listening. But do not talk to the officers a lot. That is going to slow down the line because you're talking and not doing. <laughs> They are protecting people, so they are on high alert. They do not really have time to talk to you, but if you have a question, feel free to ask them. Also, do not be offended easily by them if they're in a bad mood or by another passenger taking a long time because they didn't watch my YouTube video. <laughs> But remember, it is your vacation. Do not let someone else's bad attitude determine your vacation mode. Before you get to the officers, be sure to untie or loosen your shoes. One travel tip is to wear slip-on shoes or untie your shoes before you leave your house down to the second hole so that your laces are now super loose and now your sneaker has become a slip-on shoe just for security. As a pilot wife traveling over 20 years, I have made these same mistakes several times. Avid travelers will make these mistakes as well, so have grace for yourself. If you follow my number one travel tip by arriving at the airport two hours before boarding time, not departure time, it will help you not feel like you're in a hurry. When we are in a hurry is when we forget those carry-on essentials. And another mistake I've seen passengers do is to not get organized once they are through airport security. They're holding their ID or their ticket with their open purse or their open personal item bag all the way to their gate or ordering their coffee. Just take your time at that bench or one of the spaces after airport security. Pack those carry-on essentials where you want them for the airplane flight. Here are three things to organize right after airport security. Number one, stow your ID and phone in a secure location so it doesn't fall out or slip out. Number two, pack your liquids bag at the bottom of your bag or inside your carry-on suitcase. And then number three, repack your electronics at a location you can easily access mid-flight. An easy mistake you can avoid is to not pack a prohibited item. I'm going to link a video of prohibited items, but the tsa.gov site has a section in the top right corner that you can click on that says, what can I bring? For instance, you cannot bring an ice pack that is not frozen solid, but 
If you scroll to the medical conditions part of their website, you will see that if you need an ice pack for medicines to keep something cold during the flight, you are allowed to bring a partially frozen ice pack or a frozen one in your bags. But my tips are going to help you as well. Here is my favorite TSA tip that they have. They have gotten so much better and more passenger friendly, especially if you have anxiety, PTSD, autism, if you have mobility issue or any kind of disability, including dementia, Alzheimer's like my dad had, they have a program called TSA Cares. You, if you fill out the paperwork about five days just to be safe ahead of your flight, you will have an officer and an entire security lane just for you and your family if they have the staffing that day. I will link the form and the video where I interviewed the officer and a, another high up TSA officer, not an officer, but an employee of, for the state of Texas. Many passengers make the mistake of pulling out all of their dry pills and all of their liquid medicines for the TSA officers, but that's not necessarily the case that day. I would just mention to the officer, hey, I've got insulin and some other medicines. Do you need to see them today? And they'll say no. But a travel tip is to have your liquid medicines in like a trash bag or a gallon bag and have those ready to go just in case they need to see them. Then when you get through airport security, pack them where you really need them to be for the trip. Another travel tip is that dry medicines do not need to be seen by the TSA officers. They can be packed in any container and they can be placed anywhere in your carry-on bags. A mistake I see in regular airport security, not pre-check line, is people have Kleenexes or their car keys in their pockets. You are not allowed to have any item inside your pockets going through regular airport security. No keys, no driver's license, no ticket, and no tissues. Some passengers get angry when their items need to be screened additionally. My tip is to just go with the flow. After 20 years, I will pack my coffee in the gray bin for additional screening not inside my carry-on bag and it still has to be pulled out and squished and smushed they some things just block something we don't know since we have gotten to the airport two hours before boarding time not departure time we're not going to be in a hurry thinking we're not going to make our flight Many of you get frustrated and overwhelmed with all of the rules of the TSA line, but I'm going to help you with their jingle and I'm going to give you my simple routine going through the TSA line. The jingle from their website says, if you can spray it, spread it, pump it, smear it, it is a liquid. But I will link some videos about liquids for you in the description box below, as well as um, some packing tip videos. Now here's my simple routine for the TSA line. Wear a travel outfit with no belt, with nothing in my pockets. I arrive to the airport with my shoes loose on my feet so that they can slip on easily after being screened. When I get to the TSA officer, I hold out my identification and my barcode ticket. After he sees it, I put it in an easily accessible pocket. I pack them correctly after airport security. When I get to the conveyor belt, I take out my liquids bag, which was at the top of my personal item, and I pull out my electronics that are bigger than a phone, and then I pull out my shoes. Now your computer does need to be in a bin by itself, just the computer. A very important travel tip for TSA line is to know that there is new technology in some airports, but until it is in writing, we are going to still pack and go through the TSA line like we normally have. You may not have to take out your liquids bag or you may not have to even take off your shoes. That's why you're going to be observant by listening and watching when you get in that security line. Check the comments below for the most update comments of people's experience going through the TSA line. Remember, if there's anything ugly, I can delete you forever from my channel if you talk badly about them. I know some people just have a bad day and we're gonna keep enjoying our vacation. The TSA does not want to see your phone or screen it in your bleh. Number two, if you have mobility issues, if you have mobility, if you have mobility issues, higher security line, we do not know the rules or the security threat for that day that they do know. So, um, 
two hours before boarding time. <sighs> Top of my personal item bag. <sighs> Thank you for your time and I hope you have a great trip, especially the start of your trip.